Well, if you're like most of us, you complain about the weather and the incorrect forecast. IBM is trying to fix that. It is combining the power of supercomputing with big data to provide far more accurate forecasts, which businesses can use to make their operations more efficient. Steve Leisman got a first-hand look. In developed countries like the United States, our smartphones warn us of looming storms, bitter cold, or searing heat. But billions of people around the globe lack even basic weather forecasts, making the world a much more chaotic and dangerous place. But in an historic marriage of big data and supercomputing, IBM is launching Graph Today, the global high-resolution atmospheric forecasting model. IBM says Graph will provide accurate weather forecasts, not for a few places around the world, but for the entire world. What you're hearing is the sound of Deus, the IBM supercomputer that runs its new global weather model. It's named after an ancient god who ruled the daytime sky. It consists of nine cabinets that has 84 nodes in it. It outputs 12 trillion pieces of weather data every day for 26 million locations around the world. The supercomputer is so fast, this massive model provides new forecasts every hour instead of every six hours. We're actually getting down to kind of the cellular level of the thunderstorms now where we weren't able to do that before. And with that information, we can now provide better support to critical decision makers. It's big potential business because big companies increasingly need accurate weather data. Any business that doesn't have a weather strategy is missing out on returns. All is tied to your environment uh, and the weather. Being able to predict that in advance for retailers, energy companies, travel and transportation businesses is all we do. Better international weather forecasts can mean more comfortable flights for passengers who are routed around turbulence and even shorter flights. And if we can do a more fuel efficient flight, um, we, we can certainly save money on fuel. It's, there's just a variety of ways that operating on time and efficient manner improves the American bottom line. No matter how good the tech, a new weather model has to prove itself over time. American will wait at least several months before relying on it and then only along with all of its other weather data. IBM has plans to continuously upgrade the model, adding real-time weather data from airplanes in the sky and even from smartphones. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.